In today's video, I'm going to show you how to display images from your video doorbells and IP cameras on your TV using TV notifications. Check it out. What's going on guys? I hope you're all doing well. A couple of days ago, I released a video on the UEFI 2K battery powered video doorbell. And in that video, I mentioned being able to display an image captured on your doorbell on your TV. If you've not seen that video yet, I share my initial thoughts and opinions on the doorbell and also show you how to add it into Home Assistant. And that'll be linked in the description below if you want to go and check that out. Since releasing that video, I've been getting a ton of different messages from people asking me how you go about getting images from your doorbells and cameras and how you display them on your TV. And you probably already guessed by the title, but that's exactly what we're going to be doing in this video. We're going to need three different things in order to complete this automation. First of all, you're going to have needed to watch my TV notifications video. In that video, I run through the process of setting up your TV to be able to make use of TV notifications. You're then also going to need to have an IP camera or video doorbell connected to your home assistant. And the last thing you need, if you're not already, is to just hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell. You'll then be alerted to any future video that I do. Jumping straight into home assistant then, we're going to want to open up the file editor and open up our configuration.yaml file. We're then just going to add a couple of lines to our configuration that's going to allow us to access a directory externally. You don't have to do it this way, there are a couple of different ways of saving images and accessing them within Home Assistant. You could store them in your www folder or somewhere else, but this is the example I'm using in this demo. The bit that we're going to add to our configuration is just here. If you've already got the Home Assistant section set up, you're going to need to just move this underneath it. And what this is going to do is just tell Home Assistant that we want external access to this directory. In this case, we want access to the temp file underneath config. So that temporary file lives underneath config. So if I browse my file system now, we should see that temp folder. And I can see that just here. You don't have to call it temp, you can call it whatever you want. Just make sure you reference it correctly in your config file. To actually create that directory, you're going to want to scroll up to the top and just hit the new folder button. You can then just type in the name for the folder you want to create. Once you've added that section to your config and created the file, we're going to restart Home Assistant. Once Home Assistant's restarted, we're going to want to head into Automations and we're going to add a new automation. We're then just going to start with an empty automation and we're going to create our TV notification here. Go ahead and fill in the name and description for your automation and then we're going to add a trigger. For the trigger type, you can set this to be whatever you want. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to keep it really simple and I'm just going to be making use of an Akara Zigbee button and just have it when I press this button, it will fire off this automation. You might want to do the same and just keep it basic just to test that it's working. But then when it's working, maybe you want to do something a bit more advanced. You could then do something like check if the TV's on and if the TV's on and motion's detected at your front door, then send an image from your doorbell to the TV. The possibilities are endless. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to do with these notifications. I've configured my trigger to just be a simple button press. So let's have a look at the action now. I've set up my action here and the code for this will be in the description below. But essentially, we've used the code that we looked at in the first TV notifications video. But this time, instead of just pointing at a normal image, we're going to be pointing at an image created by our cameras. If you also remember, in that first video, we looked at how to customize that notification. So here we can change these parameters to actually modify what the notification looks like on the TV. So we can set the duration for how long it's going to display on the screen for. We can set the font size, the color, the position. And in this bottom section, we're going to set the file path, which is going to tell Home Assistant where our camera image is. This file path is going to need to be the path that you set as your external directory in your config.yaml. That's the first bit of the notification done. And if we were to run that now, it's just going to display that message and title that you've set there. Currently, this directory is empty and we haven't got a camera image. So this is just going to be an empty notification. So we're going to press add action. And scroll down the action type. We're going to want to set this to be call service. And the service that we want to call is the camera.snapshot. From here, we're going to just choose pick entity and we're going to select our camera that we want to display the image from. With your camera chosen, you're going to want to set the file name and this file name is going to be the full file path for where you want the image to store. You're going to want to make sure that this is in your external directory and also that you're giving the image the same file name. And as we've already got the path here, we can just copy it from here and just paste it in here. And for those of you that are awake and paying attention, you will have realized that we're doing this notification back to front. So we're actually displaying the notification and then requesting the camera image. So 10 points to you if you realized. 
Let's just quickly fix this then. So we're going to press this little up arrow in the bottom right here. And that should just bump the camera service call to the top. So your automation should now have the camera service call at the top and then the notification call at the bottom. Once you've done that, you can press the little save in the bottom right there. And when that's saved, we're going to just press the letter C on the keyboard. I'm going to start typing reload and then we're going to choose the top one, which is automations. And this is just the power menu to quickly access bits of Home Assistant and we're just reloading the automations. With that reloaded, we can go ahead and trigger our automation. We should then see our camera image appear in our TV notification. If the notification displayed on your TV but didn't have the image, the first thing you should do is check that external directory that you set up. In my case, it's the temp one and have a look inside of that to check if the camera image actually saved in there. So with mine here, I can see that it saved that camera.png. If the image is there, but it didn't display in the notification, it could be that the saving of the image took too long before the actual notification called. One way to fix this is just to add a small delay between the camera snapshot and the actual notification send in. If the image isn't there at all, try opening up your developer tools and manually calling that snapshot service and seeing if you can get your image to save into the directory that you chose. Make sure the directory that you're choosing in your automation also matches the directory that you set here. And as I said at the beginning, you don't have to set up that external directory. You could just make use of the www folder. And I'll just quickly show you what that looks like if you were to do it that way. So in your file browser, you're going to want to scroll all the way down to www. In here, you'd create a folder to store your image. And then back in the automation, you're going to want to just set that to be config www, your folder name, and then your image. And the same with the notification on the bottom there. One important thing to note about the www folder is anything that you put in it is publicly accessible. So if you're exposing Home Assistant to the internet, either through Nabucasa, DuckDNS, or some other service, then anything in that folder could be accessed. And there we go. If you've got any issues with that automation, then let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to help you out. Alternatively, if you head over to my Facebook, you can share some screenshots there and you can have the Facebook group help you out. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see some more simple automations like this, then don't forget to drop me a like. And if you're not already, if you hit that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell, you'll be alerted to any future videos that I do. If you want to see a behind the scenes and have a sneak peek at some upcoming content, then be sure to be following me on my Instagram account. And as always, a massive thank you to these awesome dudes. These awesome dudes are my Patreons. If you're interested in becoming one of these awesome dudes, then be sure to check out the link for my Patreon in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.